hi everyone welcome back to my channel it's a bright and sunny morning and it is sunny on the outside and it's feeling happy on the inside and all is well i just i'm so happy to be back with you today i'll be sharing with you from a very interesting point of view the topic today is from a child's perspective looking at things from a child's perspective a child had a child had the capacity to absorb so much an adult you know can filter uh, whatever information an adult hears or whatever information that is shared whether by seeing or hearing an adult is able to really dissect it in the right context or to filter it to take what they may and to leave what they may but a child absorbs everything everything they have the capacity to really sponge up everything that's why in some ways they are seen as you know a sponge because they take in so much but as adults sometimes we don't really recognize that children have this capacity and they're capable of so much and whatever it is that you feed the child on the inside that child is able to absorb it and it will stay with the child for a very long time sometimes things issues can cause damage to the child and that child can grow up with fear in the intimidation can also you know suffer from all sort of issues because of the things they hear the things they see the things they partake in never say to a child you are stupid and constantly repeating in a child airing you are stupid you have no sense the child is going to grow up believing that he or she is stupid and being stupid meaning that they have the inability to understand certain things in a certain way or to do things a certain way so the child grow up believing that I am incapable of understanding some things or doing some things because I was told that I am stupid and so that you will find that even that child will do things out of context and uh, I'm told that I'm stupid never say to a child you are ugly never say to a child you are ugly children are created beautiful they were fearfully and wonderfully made in the image of God the Bible tells us they are lovely not everyone look alike some persons may you know looking on the outside a little more attractive than some as we deem it to be more beautiful than some but everyone is uniquely built uniquely created they are created in the image of God and they are unique in their own way so I never call a child or anyone ugly I don't like to say that the people are ugly I like to say they are unique because what is not nice for you is very much nice for someone else what is not beautiful for you is very much beautiful for another person beauty is really in the eyes of the beholder the person that is seeing the thing and seeing beauty in the thing or in the person the way your eyes may not be able to see it so never say to a child you are ugly never say to a child you are no good never say that never say to a child you are the devil never say to a child you are going to hell never say to a child you look just like your father or you are just like your mother or you're just like your father and add to that to say to them unkind things unkind words that you may deem that the father or the mother were not doing well in your eyes you could break a child's self-esteem 
You could cause a child to believe that they have no self-worth. You could cause a child to have nothing good to say about themselves. I met this child not very long ago and I remember sitting with the child and talking to the child and the child had nothing good to say about herself. When come to ask, what would you like to be? What would you like to become? I don't want to be nothing. That's what a child say. And you know, by encouraging the child and talking to the child, I want to be a go-go. I want to bleach myself. I don't like myself. I am ugly. What do you think you're ugly? I was told that I am ugly. I won't say who the child said that, you know, caused that child to believe that. There was another time I saw the child again and the child says, um, there were other children around and the other children were talking and from talk to talk, then it came up that this child say, uh, she wants to go to hell and uh, try to, to, to get some information. Why do you say that? Because I was told that I'm the devil and I'm going to hell. And it was someone that was supposed to be protecting this child and caring for this child that told this child, you are going to hell. So I had was to shift gear in the mind and the heart of this child, to show this child how beautiful she is. And it's a beautiful child, so beautiful. She's full of life and, you know, so much is within her. And she would talk and whenever she talks, she would hang her head down and she would just roll the eyes up. So you know that there's not much self-esteem, not much self-worth. And I had was to say to her, you're beautiful. You're a wonderful child. You're made in the image of God. You're made in the likeness of God. He loves you. I had was to go to my Bible and read from my Bible to tell her what hell is, who is the devil, and cause her to understand that you're not the devil, you're just a child, and you're not going to hell according to whomever told you that you're going to hell. And she started smiling. Now that child is walking with her head up high, and she has a smile on her face all the while, and the light comes into her eyes and into her face because she now hears from someone that, I am beautiful, I am lovely, someone loves me, I am not deemed to hell, I am not the devil, I am not stupid, I am not ugly. So I'm encouraging you today, parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, cousins, whoever you are, whether you're just someone on the street, please be kind. Have kind words to say to children that the future tomorrow and they need our guidance and our help to help them along the way. So be kind to them and be gentle and be loving to them. Tell them that they have the stars as a limit for them. Tell them that it can do whatever it is that they want to do in life. Tell them that they have the potential to reach whatever goals that they want to reach. Help them to understand that, you know, nothing is beyond their limit, whether good or bad, but they should choose to do the good and not the bad. I just want to encourage you today. You know, I have always been speaking where children are concerned because I do believe that if we're able to get them at the, 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 the earliest level, we'll be able to make a better society. We'll be able to, to have things change from the way it is, that everything is just going to the dirt, as we would say, you know, people are just, just doing and living and, and killing each other. And these, some of these people who are doing these things, they were children who were never told anything good about themselves. And they grew up angry and they were misled. And so I'm encouraging you to do what you can to make a better place for our children today.
If you like what I'm saying, please remember to subscribe, press the like button, press the bell to turn on the notification bell so that whenever I, you know, upload something new, you'll be able to get that information first. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. And you can drop me a message. Let me know what's on your mind if you like what I'm sharing with you. And if there's a topic that you would like me to speak on, you could also share that as well. And you never know. I might just do what you're asking. Have a blessed one. And be kind to your, your, the little babies. Be kind to not just your little babies, but all the little ones. Jesus loved the little children. All the children of the world. Red and yellow, black and white, they're so precious in his sight. Jesus loved the little children of the world.